What's up, guys? This is Webby, back again for some light-breaking news for you involving WrestleMania 33. Vince McMahon has completely lost it, if this report comes true. Absolutely. I don't know where the Vince McMahon is that we saw back in the Attitude Era, or the Vince McMahon we saw back in the Old School Era, but... He's gone, if this report comes true. I mean, absolutely gone. The ship has set sail and sunk on the creative team, if this report comes true. Because we might see Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33. Oh my gosh, that would be a horrible mistake. By the WWE. Absolutely. According to Wrestling News, Vince McMahon has a logical reason behind this decision and why it is being considered now more than ever. The logic behind this match stems from McMahon still focusing on Reigns being a star. McMahon is set on him being the top guy for a considerable period of time. So a match against Undertaker would solidify him in that slot. Moreover, with Cena making more commitments outside of the WWE, a match against Taker would make would have less meaning than Reigns competing against him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Give me a break. I mean, really. Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33 does not have as much meaning. As a matter of fact, I mean, let's really break this down. You look at everything Roman Reigns has been through, and I say this each and every time a stupid report like this comes out. Comes out. But Roman Reigns, the League of Nations he went through, he dispensed Vince McMahon, Triple H, the entire authority, Seth Rollins, Daniel Bryan, Bray Wyatt, the whole Wyatt family. Roman Reigns has went through all of them. Do we see him any bigger than he was back then? Not really. Not really. Sure, he's had a few championships, but nothing. Now, throwing him in a match against The Undertaker will be absolutely horrifying because I can just see it now. The fans down in Orlando will absolutely swallow this match up alive. Vince McMahon, if he goes through with this, will have The Undertaker eat a Superman punch, a spear, and one, two, three. And the crowd will absolutely eat it alive, and Reigns will get buried even more than he already is. Nothing will change. Absolutely nothing. If Triple H couldn't get him over in the main event of WrestleMania 32 last year, nothing's going to get Roman Reigns over. I mean, absolutely not. As far as John Cena versus The Undertaker is concerned, that's the match that we've been waiting to see for years now. We have been wanting to see that Icon versus Icon match for a long time. We have been eager to see that. This was our chance. This is our chance. WWE needs to give it to us. John Cena and The Undertaker is where that match needs to be at WrestleMania. Or maybe even you throw AJ Styles in the mix of that. That'd be a great contest too. You know, somehow, some way, get John Cena versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33. Not Throwing him back over to Monday Night Raw. 
Especially when he said that he was a SmackDown guy and he was digging holes and taking souls and all that kind of stuff on SmackDown right before the Survivor Series. And that he was Team Blue. Undertaker needs to face John Cena. And the crowd was eager for it when John Cena first made his big return back to SmackDown. That's what needs to happen. Not Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. I hope this report that I'm reading on the last day of 2016 is nothing and it can just go away. Because it's just unbearable. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. Do you want to see Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker? Do you want to see what was originally planned? You know, what we want planned. John Cena versus The Dead Man. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe. Have a great New Year's Eve tonight. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.